side of the bikini was measured to see how wide it was. And if you, you didn't meet up with the beach inspector's regulations, you'd be sent off or asked to cover up or fine because you weren't wearing enough clothing. Come on, madam, don't walk around here without Put something on, please. Otherwise... All right. Employed to police public decency laws, beach inspectors initially banned the bikini and the speedo jockey, and public opinion was split on skimpy swimwear. Do you think that bikinis should be banned? Well, I most certainly do, and I don't think it has justice to a woman's figure. I think a girl's got the right figure to wear, and she should be entitled to wear it. Well, they should be banned for some figures then. Definitely. I think once you've worn a bikini, you'd never wear a one-piece costume again. Despite the risk of being fined or sent off the beach for wearing a two-piece, Australian women continued to play their own way, flaunt their bikinis and stick it to the man. Yeah, but the, you know, the conventional view of women is of a modest, reticent creature. And you know, yes, this is not that... that I, I feel that the more they get off, the more dominant they're becoming, you know? They, they've been down there too long and they want to uh, get up and, you know, head with the fellas. They'll wear what they... And this is a sort of a sign of their um, emancipation and, and uh -huh. their freedom. Aha, uh -huh. now we're getting... <laughs> women weren't having it. By the end of 1961, decency laws were relaxed. Beach inspectors shut up shop, and the battle of the bikini was won. I think it's part of a broader loosening of sort of some of those social mores that happens through different kinds of ideas about modernity. The sexual revolution kind of encourages people to wear less and to show off their bodies more and to be comfortable with showing more. It wasn't just the bikini that was getting smaller. The female of the species has traditionally been the vain one. But with this new fashion trend, will the day dawn when men will parade along the beaches displaying their body beautiful? I mean, this is the era in the 1970s when you've got men displaying their bodies for women and for other men in some ways, you know, not wearing very much. Would you wear it yourself? Oh, yes. What about if your husband stepped out in one? Well, I wouldn't be with him. <laughs> Pity not more of the men are wearing it. You like it? Yes, I do. You don't think it's too brief? No, not at all. <laughs> I know that American men, women, especially straight people, are absolutely horrified and confronted by the idea that we wear Speedos so freely. But you know what? They're briefs, they're practical, and they show we've got nothing to hide. 